guys, um, I'm back with another video, and in this video, I am going to show you some tips that I use um, to make my makeup stay all day long. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to get started. The problem I used to have with my makeup is that it would fall off um, probably within like five hours of wearing. So when I'd go to work, um, yeah, like within five hours, like my makeup would start to fall off. I would notice it. Um, around like this area right here where I get oily um, and I would notice it kind of would kind of be patchy and it would kind of be coming off and it's really frustrating and I thought it was my foundation and I thought it was I yeah I thought it was my foundation I was like oh I need a long wearing foundation and it's really not your foundation or at least I don't think it's really the foundation it's really the steps that you take um, before you're putting on your foundation um, at least I feel it is. I feel it's really the steps that you're taking before um, that's really going to lock in your foundation and lock in all the makeup that you're putting on. So, yes. So, let's get started. So, the first thing is that cleansing your skin. So, they always say you don't want to go to bed with makeup on, and that is so true. You don't. It's really bad for your skin. It's just overall just not a good thing to do. So, if you can, always take your makeup off. But that also helps with your makeup staying on your face all day long. So the thing is always try to cleanse your face with water and and your cleanser as much as you can at night. If you can't, if you don't have time or if you're really tired and you don't want to use soap or your cleanser and water to wash your face off, wipes are always good too. Take these babies, wipe them all over your face and get that makeup off. Okay, so these are good. These are Target brand. I love these wipes. I use these when I'm super lazy. Like last night I did not wash my face so I use these so these are a great alternative um, my favorite cleanser that I use is sorry this bottle is really nasty but this is the purity cleanser I really this cleanser is awesome this gets off everything this is awesome so if you're looking for a new cleanser in your life I suggest this one it is awesome like it seriously gets off everything and washes away everything there's nothing left over this is really good. Um, I also like to deep clean my face at least three times a week. So that being said, I do have a Clarisonic. Um, I used to use this um, every single day, um, but I started breaking out. And I think that was because it was just too much for my face to handle. Um, so um, I use this, um, I've kind of been using it twice a week. So it gets the the dead skin off your face because that again will make your makeup last all day. Um, so yeah, I definitely suggest this or you can use an exfoliating cleanser. You mean, you know, like one of those harsher cleansers that have like the harder, you know, those beads and that stuff in there. You definitely do not need to go out and buy this. I got this when I worked in Nordstrom and I had a discount. So yeah, that it was that. Okay, so then also something that I've been using um, that I just recently started doing in my, my um, skincare routine our masks. Um, I just started using the Glam Glow mask. I threw it away though because I um, used it all up. But it was the Glam Glow Youth uh, Tingle mask and that was an exfoliating mask and I was using that once a week in combination with this Paracone MD Chloroplasma mask. And this I've definitely seen a difference in my face as well. I've mentioned this before in my previous video so I'm not going to go into detail to the into in in detail with this but why? Why are you calling me? Unless I don't, I cannot talk right now. Okay, um, I'm not going to go into detail with these, but I definitely have seen a difference as well with my skin and my longevity of my makeup with masks. So I definitely suggest trying out different masks um, with what your skin needs. Um, I definitely seen a difference with that. Okay, so that's just before you apply your makeup. Now moving on to right before you're about to put on your makeup. First step that is really, really important and that is moisturizing. Okay, so moisturizing is really, really important and I didn't think it was that important but it really is because the reason why I think that my makeup was falling off is because I had like dry patches on my face. So, um, and so like parts, and, I, and I'm an oily person so I was like, I really do not need moisture 
like on my face because I'm oily like right you're like what I don't need moisture on my face um but you do I, I mean I I feel like you do so because pa parts of my face are dry so I really like the number seven um this is the lift and illuminate day cream you use any moisturizer that you love um but just moisturize your face so um I love this one because um it's lift and illuminate so um it's going to lift and illuminate, obviously. At least that's what it says it's going to do. So, um, so I think it's like going to prevent wrinkles and whatnot. But the one thing that I really like about this is that it has a fast drying time. So when I put it on my face, it's not it's not on there and it's not staying greasy because you don't want to put this on and then continue with your routine and it being greasy and everything's going to slide all over. So the one thing I really like about this is that it dries quickly. So I put it on and it has dried and we're ready to go to the next step. So. If you need a new moisturizer, I suggest this one. Um, it's hypoallergenic, so that's great. And I mean, I haven't had any problems with this. So this I get at Target and it's really great. So I like this one as well. I mentioned this in my favorite video um, real quickly. So I really like this guy. So that is that. Do you like my brows? They're from the drugstore. So the next step, step three, is priming. So you want to prime your face, um, depending on what your face needs. So if you have a lot of redness, you want to use maybe a green primer. Or if you have large pores, you want to use um, a silicone-based primer. But depending on your needs, always prime your face. Um, or at least I feel like it's important to prime your face. Um, it just gives the foundation something to grab onto when you're putting your foundation on. So the one primer that I really have been, well, I use a combination of two primers, but the first primer that I've been loving that I need to go buy the big version of is this Clinique Super Primer. And I just realized that they have this primer in like four or five different kinds. So I know they have a green one. I know they have like um, a color correcting one for fair and dark skin tones. I know they have so many. So um, if you're in, if you need a new primer, check this one out. This one does not have, this one is not like silicone based. So it's not that, um, it's not that kind of feeling if you know what I'm talking about. But when I put it on, it feels sticky. So I feel like it's like gonna grab the foundation. And ever since I started using this, I have definitely seen, seen a longevity of my foundation. So I definitely would recommend checking this out. Unless you have a primer that you love, then go for it. I mean, yeah, that's, you do you, I mean, whatever. But this one, I really love this one. And then I also use it with my L'Oreal Miracle Blur because this one is, um, oh my God, excuse me. This one is, silicone. This one I just put on my forehead, on my, um, underneath my eyes because I have pore, I, I feel like you can see my pores there, and then on my chin. Um, and yeah, so I use these two together and I really like these. So yeah, definitely prime your skin for that. Right. Step four is your foundation. So whatever foundation you're using, um, personally, I do not think that it is the foundation's fault that is falling off. I mean, yes, I think you should choose one that is chosen for your skin. So if you are oily, don't choose one that is, you know, extra dewy or, you know, or if you have dry skin, you know, don't choose one for oily skin, obviously. Um, but I feel like it's all about application and things like that. So, but if you're in the market for a longer wearing a foundation, the one from the drugstore that personally I really like is the uh, Revlon Color Stay Whipped. Um, this foundation really, really lasts a long time, if I do say so myself. But honestly, all my foundations stay on just as long if I'm using this technique and everything like that. But if you're just gonna slap some foundation on your face and you want it to last a long time, I do recommend this Color Stay Revlon. 24 hour whipped. The, um, he's over here. The color say 24 hour regular one, this guy right here, he doesn't do a, as good a job. The whipped one though, he is on your face. And you can tell because the consistency of this is thick. So just keep that in mind. Step five is the way you apply your foundation. So, Currently, I've been loving the Fit Me Matte and Poreless Foundation uh, just because I love the way that it goes on your face. It is really matte and poreless. 
the way I apply um, my foundation is with my beauty blender and I honestly I do notice a difference when I apply it with a beauty blender as opposed to when I apply it with my flat top brush. Honestly, I can apply my foundation with the beauty blender in the same amount of time as my flat top brush. And at first, I was like, I'm not going to spend $20 on a sponge. I'm not. I'm not going to spend $20 on a sponge. Like, there's no way, like, that that sponge is worth $20. It's worth $20. Like, this sponge is amazing, okay? Like, this sponge literally is it blends out your foundation so quickly. The, um, it's in my, like, travel bag. But the, the, um, Real Technique sponge, it doesn't do it as good a job as this Beauty Blender. Like, I don't know what they did to this Beauty Blender, but this Beauty Blender is so good. And it, I can go so fast. And, and when you're pushing the foundation into your skin, you're really... Uh, pushing it into that primer, pushing it into your face, and it's really going to make your makeup last. So that's my suggestion. That's what I've seen work. So that's what I suggest. Step six is setting it. Okay, so I set it kind of different. So I'll put my concealer on under my eyes and I'll do my brows. I set my, I don't like to put powder all over my face because sometimes I feel like it's a little too cakey. So I will just set my face with um, bronzer and then like my highlight and stuff with another powder. So for that, I use the my bronzer right now at the moment, which is just the Urban Decay um, powder foundation in medium um, dark. So it looks like that. And then um, today for setting, I kind of like to use a whole bunch of different things. Um, but today I use the Anastasia Contour Kit. And I really love this color right here. Um, it's this one right here. And this is their... You have to pop these out to know what they are. And this is her shade Vanilla. Um, I really like this color. It's a really nice, um, smooth shade when you put it on your face. It's really nice. I feel like I'm not tan enough for banana. And I was using the banana one for a while, but... Um, I don't know. I I was like sitting on vanilla for a while. Let me mention one more thing. Another product that I really like to set my under eye if I'm feeling like I really want to brighten up that area is the Bare Minerals Concealer and Well Rested. So this is a really good one. Um, It really will, it this lasts a really long time as well underneath your eyes. So this is a really good product as well. So then I will put on blush and then I will highlight and then do the rest of my eyes or whatever I need to do um, for the rest of that. So yeah, so that's basically it. Um, step seven can be setting your foundation. I recently picked up a new setting spray that I'm really excited about from the drugstore. And this is the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Setting Spray. So let's try this out. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, it smells like... um. Urban Decay. Okay, so then that's it. Ooh, it dries super fast. Ooh, this is nice stuff. Ooh, I like this stuff. Ooh, I like this stuff. Oh, you guys, this is really good. Check this out at the store. Okay. Okay. Okay, so that's the end of this video. Um, I hope it was helpful. Um, yeah, I just know my friends would always tell me that they have a problem with their makeup just like falling off their face. And like, I had that problem way before. So these are just what I've noticed that... I've, that I've changed in my routine that has definitely helped me make my makeup stay longer. So I hope this was helpful. Um, like, thumbs up this video, and um, subscribe if you haven't already, and comment below if you want to see what other videos you want to see from me, and that would be really cool if you did. And um, yeah, that's all I have to say, I guess. And thank you guys so much for watching, and thank you for everything already if uh for subscribing already i really really appreciate it um yeah i hope you guys are having a great day and i'll see you in my next video bye